briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 2003 case, Flores v. Morgan Hill Unified School District, the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit ruled that school officials must enforce policies to protect gay and lesbian students from harassment and discrimination. The case focused on the idea that students have a clear right to be free from discrimination based on sexual orientation. The lawsuit was brought by former students against the school district, its administrators and board members, claiming that they had failed to take action in response to complaints of anti-homosexual harassment from students between 1991 and 1998. The plaintiffs argued that this was a violation of their equal protection rights under 42 U.S.C. Section 1983. The defendants sought summary judgment on the grounds of qualified immunity, but the district court denied their motion. The defendants then appealed the ruling, arguing that the plaintiffs lacked evidence of improper motives and that the law was not clear at the time about protecting students from sexual orientation-based harassment. However, the appellate court found sufficient evidence of deliberate indifference on the part of the defendants and ruled that the law was clearly established. The court thus affirmed the district court's decision to deny summary judgment on qualified immunity grounds, finding that the record contained enough evidence for a jury to decide that the defendants had intentionally discriminated against the plaintiffs based on sexual orientation without justification. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.